Good afternoon and welcome to Springfield Stadium, the home of club football. Today, the visitors, Nap Hill. Well, last week's last minute goal by Luke Campbell in the 94th minute, sending the ball through to the next round of the FA Vars. Today, we're back to league action in what will be the first of a quadruple of home games. Today, Nap Hill FC, the Nappers are the visitors. Taking control of affairs today, the referee is James Hall, hailing out of Northwood in northwest London, assisted by Ian Valance from Wokingham and Gareth Mays from Tadworth. And let's see how the balls go as they charge forward again. And we're underway. Barker will take it. Flicked on. And again, Lloyd is across as well. And here comes Tobin. And cut out quickly. And here come Nap Hill now. Edge of the box. Looking. Still going. It's fallen now to Pillbeam. He keeps going. Pillbeam. And he scores. Well, confusion in the Bulls' defence there. And George Pillbeam takes advantage of the mistake. Nobody really makes it their own and he somehow, as the ball comes to him, surprised probably as the rest of the crowd are here. And Pilbeam has given the Nappers the lead against the runner play, you'd say, just on nine, ten minutes gone in this first half. And the Bulls look stunned, as does the crowd here at Springfield. Well, the defence did not communicate there. They let Pilbeam in, the ball fell to him. He was allowed to come in onto his left foot and knock it in. Van der Vliet having no chance for that one. Well, the Bulls find themselves behind again as they did last week and will have to bounce back. Jersey Bulls nil, Nap Hill one. And now, can Bickley get onto this? Well, he's going to chase it down there with Birchett. He gets round Birchett. Bickley with a flick over the top. Oh, well, Lorne Bickley does ever so well there. He beats Birchett. Keeper comes halfway. Bickley just tries to lob him and in the end can't keep it down. It just drifts over the corner. And now Trotter. Bickley takes the shot. Hits Burkett, takes a shot again, deflected. What a save in the end there by Joss Barker. Well, he didn't have much time to react to that. The ball was deflected from the shot. The second time falling to Lorne Bickley. He takes a shot and as a deflection, it was going into the top right-hand corner. And Barker gets a great hand to it. Keeps his side in the lead. Trotter gets there, but he loses it. And Pointer again. And here come Nat Pill, the ball looking... Well, Pointer goes on his own. Is he going to shoot? Oh, he does, and it's not that far wide in the end. It's going to be a long throw in taken. Launched forward really far. Campbell up there. Now Henia Kamau shoots. Oh, well, it just couldn't stay down. Rising as Henia Kamau takes the shot. Golden chance for him there, and the Nappers are relieved. Well, what can the Bulls do to bring some joy to the hearts of the supporters today? A pretty full stand here at Springfield and support round the ground. In it comes. Edge of the box. Shoot, shot comes in. Oh. Takes the shot and it goes past the right-hand post of Barker. Bickley tries to flick it through, but he holds onto it. But there's seven or eight of the Nap Hill defence back there. Kilshaw with a touch. Played forward. Falls now to Bickley. Bickley's going to go on his own. Lorne Bickley. Falls now. Prince is in the middle. Prince, can he get a shot off? Still going. Shot comes in. Blocked again. Kilshaw. Kerre. Ball's played into the middle. Prince. It's still anybody's. Prince flicks it on. Oh. Well, frantic stuff here. Somehow, Nap Hill are holding on here. Kilshaw plays it forward. Far post, Bickley with the header. Over the header, Tobin. Still trying to get in there. 
It shot comes in. Oh, and it's Mendes who's come back on the pitch, and Mendes with a shot, and it goes inches over the bar. Well, what a passage of play there. 30 seconds of absolute carnage in the middle. The ball was falling all over the place. It was Beckley, it was Prince. And in the end, it does come to Mendes and he can't quite keep his shot down. Well, the balls have got little time left, maybe 10 minutes. They've got to go route one like they just did. It caused a real problem for the Nap Hill defence there. They were at sixes and sevens. They managed just somehow to hold on. In it comes, flicked on by Campbell, kept in by Rouge Tail, header, far post, shot comes in, oh, Jake Prince with the shot and it just goes narrowly past the right hand post. Is that the last chance of the game for the Bulls? Have Nap Hill done what was thought not likely before the game and hold on and get three points on the road here in Jersey. And Rouge Tail misses it and a, a lob comes in. Well, it looks like Bone tries from distance. The lob van der Vliet doesn't. Goes wide, goal kick. Well, referee's got his whistle in his mouth and that's it. It's all over here at Springfield Stadium. The Jersey Bulls slip to their first defeat of the season. Their first in the league at home against Nap Hill from Reading Way in Surrey. The players from Nap Hill are jubilant. They are deserved winners today. They had a game plan, they stuck to it, they got the goal, and then from there on they defended as if their lives depended on it. Well, apart from a little bit of unsportsmanlike from the goalkeeper and a little bit of time wasting on the balance, Nap Hill are deserved winners today. They have beaten the Jersey Bulls at home. They have broken the hearts of the bullpen and the adoring fans who are now leaving Springfield Stadium. Nap Hill have done it. They have won one goal to nil. Pill beam on 10 minutes. The players will shake hands. The Bulls will leave the pitch. They will need to bounce back next week. It's another home tie, this time bad shot Lee, and they will be no doubt buoyed when they hear this result. They will come here next week. The Bulls will need to group again, come back together and go next Saturday. Well, we hope you've enjoyed watching this game. It's not been the best performance from the Bulls this season. They weren't allowed to play in reality. Nap Hill, the winners. We'll see you next time.